from 90F, and today I will be talking about the flywheel. This is the first of a two-part session where we will be talking about the flywheel and the hood. The flywheel is good for this year's game, Turning Point, because it can hit the high flag and mill flag. This flywheel is good because there is a bigger margin of error than the catapult or puncture. If a robot with a flywheel gets hit while shooting, the ball might still hit the flag. If a catapult or puncture gets hit, it will most likely miss the flag. There are two main parts of the flywheel. The first part is the flywheel itself, and the second part is the gearbox. So for the gearbox, we used a 15 to 1 gear ratio. We used compound gearing as well. So first, the motor is on the same axle as this 60 tooth gear. This 60 tooth gear is connected to the 12 tooth gear, just mesh with the 12 tooth gear. And that 12 tooth gear is on the same axle as a 36 tooth gear, which is meshed with another 12 tooth gear. This first meshing is a 5 to 1 gear ratio. The second one is a 3 to 1. And so after you multiply it, it's to a 15 to 1 gear ratio. And the second part is our flywheel. The flywheel should have two things, weight and low resistance. If you want the flywheel to have maximum potential, you want there to be low resistance. One test you can do to see if there's low resistance is to spin the flywheel without a motor on it. It should spin for 20 seconds. Ours has a motor on it, but still spins for quite a long time. This weight is to have more power and shoot the ball to a desired height. The flywheel will run longer because it has more inertia. I personally recommend having more than one wheel because it will make more balanced weight, which will create more power. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned about the flywheel. Make sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to check out our other videos. Goodbye.